What's up guys? Welcome back. Long time no see. In this episode, we are finally getting Allen's 07K turbo swapped 944 turbo on the dyno. It's not facing the right direction right now, but uh, that's okay. Stay tuned. For those of you that have been following along, you probably realize that it's been like a month since we last updated you on this car, and at that point we had said that it was going on the dyno the next week. Well, that lifter tick issue we had, it took us a really long time to track that down and figure out what it was. It didn't have anything to do with the turbo oil feed coming off the head. In fact, there was a check valve inside the oil block that was faulty and it wasn't allowing oil to flow to the head, which is not good. Luckily, no harm, no foul. We got it fixed, it just took some time, and we are here. We're not doing full power runs tonight. We're gonna start tuning with boost. Right now, all we have is the NA tune, so a lot of work to be done, but we're gonna get to hear the car under load, and we're gonna start to see the process. I'm real excited. Sorry if it's a little loud with the uh, dyno fan going, but hopefully you can hear this thing starting to make boost for the first time. So we're still doing a ton of tuning. I wasn't ready for that. He was only going to 6,000 and we're still running on wastegate and super low timing. So by no means are we making power pulls, but I wanted to let you guys hear it. Under full load, it sounds incredible. Dan, what do we say about that? More boost. <laughs> more boost, more timing. Yeah, whatever, just more boost. <laughs> so that was like 275 wheel horsepower with single digit timing, 10 PSI of boost, and no variable valve timing. I'd say that uh, there's a lot of potential. This is awesome. All right, so this is gonna be the exact same pull. We haven't changed any timing, boost, variable valve timing, anything like that. Instead of 6,000, we're just gonna run it up to seven. There was absolutely no difference because David stopped recording at 6,000 RPM. What an idiot. <laughs> We're gonna try that again. What's up? <laughs> uh -huh. Such low timing, still on wastegate, no variable valve timing, and if you looked at the dyno graph, it was still just like this. Like, 
so pumped right now. There is so much more room for activities. This is awesome. We're still the same timing, no VVT, we're still stopping at 7,000, but we're starting to ramp up the boost. So we're shooting for 18 PSI on this run. That's what we were doing on the last run, but the coupler on the compressor outlet popped off. Apparently we have just a touch too big of clamp on there. So we tightened it as best we could. We're gonna give it another shot. I don't know if it's gonna stay on, but here's 18 pounds, hopefully. blew off again. We'll get it fixed and we'll see you next time.